Hello and welcome at the Zeiss Academy for Metrology. My name is Klaus Schabel and today I want to tell you something about our Calypso Advanced Training. Some things which we want to recap here for a better understanding um, and the main things we want to speak about in our uh, advanced refresher is recalls, filter and outlier evaluation, pattern programming, working with formulas and how we have to create the datums according to ISO standard, in this case ISO 5459. So, I have also a pattern here, but it's not how to say a linear and it's not a rotational pattern. It's, you can say like a random, yeah? Each value is completely different. And for this, we can use now for the pattern, the pattern with positioning list. I defined the first circle, yeah? And for example, in this case, one, two, three, four, five, six patterns, I have to define the real numbers, included the first one, and the first one is zero. And then I defined here, for example, the second one has in the X direction 26 and 15. And now we can check the parallelism. Let me do it two times. In the first time, the feature is plane number four to the plane here on the front. It's in my case, plane number two, yeah, that you see it. And let me bring in a tolerance that we see something at the end. And here it's plane number five to the same reference datum uh, number two and let me take also a tolerance inside and execute it and you see you will have different results in the first step and you see it here also in a form plot in our PyWeb report here the form deviation is, uh, sorry, the parallelism deviation is the form deviation and the direction deviation. The second one, we haven't so much deviations now. And let's have a look what is in the plot at the end. Uh, you see nothing because it's an ideal plane and how you what what do you want to see in an ideal plane it's only a value between the minimum and the maximum of this plane yeah only the directional error now is be used yeah? and that's the difference and this is how we can follow also the rule of the actual iso standard in this case for example we have a cylinder a cylindricity we have to check so we measure the cylinder but maybe we also want to know the diameter inside the cylinder in different sections so means i have to measure or remeasure some circles that i can bring out the the diameters yeah um or Maybe we only need one of those passes for a special calculation, or we need only from one pass only some points, and so on. And this, all these things I want, want to show you now in Calypso. And for this, I created here a cylinder with three lines or circular lines, sorry. Yeah with three circular lines and I want to check with this the cylindricity yeah I can say okay I use the cylinder and okay but I also want to check what I told you before the diameter in different sections 
And now let me take the cylinder to the end and I always put everything here in a group that I only have what we, uh, that you only see what we are working now in. Yeah. Um, so I take now a circle or let me take a second one. And in the first circle, now I want, for example, recall the circular line which is in the depth. So I go in and now I use recall feature points. I really want to recall measured points because for a roundness or a diameter, I need them. Yeah, and where we can select and define the outliers, there are, you can say, three ways. I can define them in an element, in a feature, under evaluation. Then everything, what you do with this feature, always the filtered feature will be used. If you have a characteristic, then inside the characteristic, the standard settings are that I accept the filter from the feature, but I can select it here and uh, switch it off. And I can use here other settings only for this characteristic. That means the circle itself has the original filter and only for this calculation, and that's important. The raw data will be filtered again. It's not a double filtering the raw data will be filtered again. Yeah. That's the second way. And you can use then the feature or the characteristic setting editor. And here you also can change here the characteristics for filter and outlier, not only for one element, you can do it here for different elements together 